Hello, everybody. Pazzi here. Welcome to Amulet of Time, Shadow of La Roche. We are starting a new casual adventure game. An older casual adventure game. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope I will enjoy this. <laughs> so, here we go. It's time to play. Difficulty level, easy difficult. Uh, I will stay in easy mode. Thank you very much. The Duchess Diane, they point the ace quarters. Whoa. Whoa, it's haunted. This place is haunted. Death is close at hand. Person from the future. Please help me as soon as you can. This animal works like a time machine and will take you back in time. We're going back in time. All the way back. To to the 16th century. So the Duchess, the ghost, was begging for our help. And now we are back in time. I visit to the Chanel she Chen Ch my visa to the channel... Channel... <laughs> How do I pronounce this word? Uh, I suppose this is French. Channel Chu. <laughs> channel Chu Castle has taken an unusual and even somewhat mystical turn. In the Duchess Diane de Pontier's room, the ghost of the castle hostess appeared. The Duchess tearfully asked for my help and handed me a medallion. Did that amulet send me back in time? It's hard to believe it, but I appear to be in the 16th century. Perhaps I'm just asleep and this is all a dream. Either way, first I should try to find out where I am and what I can do to help. So I think we are trying to bring her back to life. Uh, Diane de Pontiers, the Duchess of Valentinois. Beloved royal mistress of King Henry II, extremely influential person. According to the nobility, the court, she is the one who truly rules the country. Henry spends the third part of every day with Diana in the Shinoju Castle, which she had been given. Oh, interesting, guys. But I assume that she was hanged because I saw a nude for a split second in that uh, in that animated movie, guys. So was she hanged? You will need 12 pieces of the amulet to get back. Look for them everywhere. Okay, so find a secret exit from the room. Find out what this room is and why you are here. So I think this is a hidden object scene. Yes. Okay, this will determine how easy these hidden object puzzles are, guys. Are they going to give me a very hard time? Or is it just going to be a leisurely walk in the park? <laughs> but so far, it's looking pretty easy. So I'm happy. Okay, that number there, the amulet. Oh, the amulet number, okay. I thought that was a hint, the hint amount. Need an axe, a knife, and a whip. There is a whip. Alright, I'm going to test out. But well, what the heck is happening? <laughs> Be was that a penalty just now? Oh, okay, I see the whip now. We'll test out the hint system next time. So we found the lion and the crowbar. We got two items. Interesting. Have two items. So we're trying to get out 
of the Rome. Is that right? There's an inscription on the emblem, La Rochelle. I wonder if I'm actually in that dark fortress. Some emblem pieces are missing. So I do have one in my inventory. Open the chest by using the pieces to put together the figure on its cover. Pretty easy. And we got another hidden object puzzle. Secret agreement. By this document, we sentence King Henry to the death by poison. His mistress, Diane de Poitier, will be framed for this crime. The Whoa. treaty is sealed with blood and personal seals. Okay. And that's the reason why we are here. The mistress was framed for the crime of the poisoning of King Henry, guys. So there is a, a, a secret group pulling the strings from behind. They can even sentence a king to death. King Henry! How? How is that even possible? <laughs> This group can sentence a king to death. This is appalling, guys. So how how powerful is this secret group? Uh, butterfly, fan, lion. A playing card. And once again, we got two items. So two items per hidden object Z. Ooh. Save the king. Save my beloved. And save you, too, in the process. <laughs> I will save both of you. <laughs> Alright, we got another lion. And also, this is a crown. There's a Pegasus in the middle. No, my book has been throbbing, guys. So these are the entries. We don't need to read this again. Oh, wait, this is new. So this is it, a conspiracy against King Henry II. And the people involved are Prince de Conde and banker Antoine Dufour. Oh, those are their names. We got a prince, like his own son. His own son! Wow, I cannot believe it. I'm going to he I'm going to have to save the king of France and expose the conspirators. They chose me, and so I better jump into action. His own son was plotting against his father, guys. Pull it up, use our uh, crowbar. To the cellar. Looks more like a dungeon. Whoa, it's a dungeon. Whoa! The key is lost. That wasn't nice. Duchess, was that you just now? <laughs> I'm here to help you, and you try to scare me to death. That wasn't very nice of you. Uh, spyglass. Bracelet. Yeah, these hidden object puzzles are pretty easy, guys. I'm surprised. <laughs> because usually, in these older games, these hidden object puzzles are killers. Okay, that's a penalty. So I guess uh, I am given a limit of misclicks. And once I reach the limit, I'll get a penalty. A belt and a bracelet.
Hulk and Spear. Ooh. Pierre de Manchan is a servant to King Henry II. He was kidnapped by some unknown individuals on August 20th, 1549. Hmm, and then they put him in the dungeon. Torture him. Into submission, guys. I wonder who this is at. Uh, that's a torture device here. Ugh, look at that roller with blades crushing his knee joints. This is horrible. And this one drowned in the pool. The grating makes it impossible to take the key. Oh, we need the key. We do have uh, the hook here. Can I use a hook? Whoa! The dangling Black Widow. The chain? Can I combine the chain with the hook? Is that doable? Uh, let me try it here, guys. Aha, uh -huh, and then the hook. Why is this hook not working? Why? Is that too big? <laughs> that's a big hook. <laughs> We've got a small key here, guys. So that's not the correct object. All the riches of the country, that is worth fighting for. Are you the king? Oh wait, <laughs> there's a side room here. I didn't even know. Uh, it's too dangerous to leave through the front door. So another list of items. Pair of boots, unicorn, candle, amulet piece, crossbow, a trident, Mouse. Hey, we got one of the fortress amulet pieces. There are twelve altogether, and we got our first one. Bell and unicorn. Final item. The unicorn. Let's test out the hint system, guys. Uh, right here. How does that work? It's gonna point me to an object. So it will refresh in a few seconds or a minute. Two new items Trident and Unicorn. The king will answer for the edict of Ekuen with blood. Oh, wait, wait up. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there we go. And the spear goes here too. And the trident. We completed this. It's done. Oh, the secret exit. Okay, leave the room and find the key. New objectives. And it's locked. Oh, so the key was dangling underneath the grating, guys. That's the one. Now, how do we get the key? How do we get the key? Oh, wait! The switch! <laughs> so we connected the chain to the grating, guys. And now, can we reach the key? Maybe now I can use a hook? Aha! We got the key! Now it's time to leave the room. Whoa! 
Philip Gane, scribe to King Henry II, was kidnapped by some unknown people in October 14, 1549. So all these dead bodies here, all these skeletons are... So all these victims are connected to King Henry II, guys. They've been tortured inside this room. They are, they were all kidnapped here. So all the dead bodies we saw here. So all the dead bodies we are seeing here are connected to King Henry II, guys. They are all, all his contacts. They were brought here to be to be victimized and tortured. So all the dead bodies we see here, they are all contacts of King Henry II. They were all kidnapped and brought here to be tortured. The secret exit. To the secret exit. Heading out. <laughs> the secret exit. Ooh. <laughs> I cannot be here in this clothing. <laughs> Why is she so shocked, guys? Am I naked? <laughs> Find a dress and get dressed quickly. Am I? I'm wearing modern clothing. That's why she is shocked. That's why she screamed. The order to allow Rochelle Fortress fencing hall. She barred the door, guys. <laughs> Because we are a predator. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, there's nothing more for me to do in that terrible room. So that's where we came from. Oh, barrel with sticky resin. It's like black tar. It's like glue. So my journal is, is throbbing. Pierre de Marchand. Marchand is a servant of King Henry II. He was kidnapped by unknown people on August 20th, 1549. And Philip Gane scribed to King Henry II. He was kidnapped by unknown individuals on October 14th, 1549. So almost like two months apart between the two kidnapping guys. Two members of Henry's court were tortured in this cellar. It would seem that the conspirators tried to force them to betray their king. So we found their bodies inside that dungeon. And the conspirators see that in the end. The king is now dead. And also his mistress. What about his wife? Is the king's wife, the queen, still alive? I wonder guys. Head to the street. Oh, hello. Random people. <laughs> she came from a jeweler, guys. She went to buy some jewelry. Pharmacy. The yard. Seamstress. Jeweler. Multiple locations. The change first. Oh, we don't want to shock any more people. Uh, shall we head to the steam trust? We need new clothing. We need suitable clothing. Hello? Is there anyone here? Hello? There's no one around. I really like this wall. Get out of here. No one wants you here. Whoa! That clown or that jester tried to kill me. I wonder who he is. So that guy can go through mirrors. Wow. Yeah, as I was saying, I really like the hub. The hubbing system in this game. It's like the same room. Whoa. <laughs> Another ghost. Find 15 pieces of the dress. Of the dress. Oh, okay, those are the pieces. Are they all here? Is someone hiding inside the closet? Inside that dresser?
Whoa. Another hidden object puzzle. It's like we are having hidden object puzzle within hidden object puzzle. They all link together. Okay, a slipper, mesh, hairnet, earrings, a knight, heart. Moth and deer. Final item. Three dress parts. Okay, cool. And we got more items here. Amulet piece. Oh, second one. Second part. Simbo, scissors. Lion. Hanger sheep. Bracelet. There's a lion right there. Oh, that's the one. All right, we are done. Time dress parts. Okay, so we got a few more. A vase with water might be useful. A funny little bird, but no time for it right now. Looks like a mechanical bird. We need threads and a blue skirt. There's so many things to look at. So that goes back out to the street level. Oh, the dress is hiding! Ah, it's right behind the screen. And now, final item threads. This is it right here. Oh, inside a box. Yes. Untangle the threads by moving the buttons. They shouldn't cross. So it's, it is pretty tangled, you know? It's like spider webs. Okay, this is going to be the outside. Little push. Every other note inside this area. And done. Put the dress on the mannequin. It's a like blue dress. It's like Cinderella's dress. Oh, is that for me? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine now that I have a dress. The conspirators must have accomplices. I wonder who they are. Start the investigation and find out about the accomplices. So now that we are wearing the right clothing, we can head back outside. Yeah, we don't want to shock more people, guys. <laughs> now I fit in with the general public. <laughs> Those random people walking around. I like this. Some nasty clown tried to intimidate and forced me to cancel this investigation. No way. Really went back in time, and in order not to attract attention, I had to temporarily use Cinderella's dress. 